I'm Emily Zhang from IBM. I'm Java champion and I'm also cloud native architect and uh, advocate um, like uh, for Liberty. And uh, I spend uh, most of my time working on micro profile, Jakarta EE, and uh, their implementation in Open Liberty. So in this talk, I'm going to do a deep dive into micro profile six and oh as you have mentioned uh, have you seen if you have attended a few talks uh, earlier you know also it's um and been mentioned uh, the um, micro profile metrics the five the o the the customer scope and the ian briefly talking about micro profile six so what's in micro profile six so in this um uh, presentation i'll give you a quick overview about micro profile uh, kind of the, the current uh, status and also with the, we spend the most of the time talk about a 6.0 and with a few demos and then we pick into the future micro profile like especially in, in the like um, uh, next year 2023. Uh, this year and uh, micro profile working group uh, growing so it's uh, uh, thank you uh, Microsoft and I'm Prampton uh, join the micro profile working group. So now we have like a 10 working group members. And also we are trying to grow the community as well. So watch the space. So at this moment, uh, like uh, the micro profile has uh, like uh, the um, uh, platform release and also standalone release. The platform release, obviously the current uh, release has a few Jakarta E technologies um, plus these eight uh, specifications. And also there's a few uh, standalone release for the reactive stream operators, uh, reactive messaging, contact propagation, GraphQL, LRA. So they are uh, separate from the platform release. For the uh, implementation uh, of micro profile, this the micro profile was um, mentioned frequently in today's Jakarta uh, one live stream. So as you can see, a lot of uh, like uh, the, um, a, a lot of product already implement the micro profile in IBM. Uh, like uh, uh, the, the Open Liberty open source project, also IBM is um, WebSphere Liberty, basically repackaged Open Liberty and also added a few other features. Uh, Red Hat as uh, Wildfly, GBoss EAP, and Quarkus. Uh, Tommy 12 has Apache, Tommy E, Oracle has Halogen, uh, and also some Prana, uh, pra uh, and also Payara has uh, Payara, and also Prana uh, Cloud, and Apache Geronimo, producer has Apache Launcher, and also some others like uh, Hamel. As you can see, is it like a very wide range of the implementation. So that's why it's the widest standard matters because the API is uh, like adopted by uh, a lot of implementations. And uh, now with that, uh, like um, uh, discussed uh, what's in micro profile six. So it's, uh, what I'm going to present in the, in the following few slides is about uh, what we have agreed in the release plan and the ballot is ongoing. Hopefully we can conclude the micro profile six soon. So this is the plan for the micro profile six. Uh, Ian also uh, demonstrated in his talk, basically micro profile six will adopt like a Jakarta E10 core profile. Uh, from the very beginning, from the micro profile one already is, is a micro profile package Jakarta E is uh, as well. So it's uh, from a micro profile six or the package um, a Jakarta E10 core profile and plus this uh, like uh, the uh, eight micro profile specifications. Uh, as you can see the kind of the uh, updated specifications of Open API 3.1, uh, JWT authentication 2.1 and the metrics. And then you can see the yellow one and the new one is called a micro profile tele tele telemetry. So this is the new spec. It is replaced the micro profile open tracing. You can see the open tracing moved uh, to the standalone. So it's uh, because it's no longer strategic. As you can see, so I will discuss uh, like um, later about micro profile telemetry. So what's in the micro profile open API 3.1? So the, the, the thing I want to 
letting know is um, uh, open APIs read all ones uh, has no backward incompatible changes. So it's uh, so that's why it's a manner release. So it's uh, uh, what's in the what's in this read all one is the first thing we have been um, putting on the agenda. We want to integrate uh, closely with the Jakarta E technologies. One thing is the beam validation. So in the past, uh, uh, even if you use the beam validation, you have to specify uh, the open API, like uh, APIs, uh, like uh, annotations, to be able to honor the like uh, some uh, uh, descriptions. And uh, from the uh, micro profile open APIs read one, like uh, it automatically translates uh, beam uh, validation, like uh, annotations such as a positive, automatically give you some uh, like uh, the um, uh, description. You can see it's a minimum uh, minimum uh, zero. The other thing is um, a security requirements set. A uh, set is the kind of the can use can be used to model both um, optional authentication uh, and multiple authentication. So in this flavor, so I mean the optional either. So either one is empty here. And this flavor, you have an open bracket and here you contain both. So this is kind of the, the multiple. Uh, the third one is additional uh, properties uh, added to schema. So it's uh, here uh, when you describe the schema, you can see additional properties, and uh, then when you generate, uh, when you like uh, do the um, uh, open API, so basically you can see the additional properties. You can see the the ref to the another class. The following thing is the API responses. Uh, like uh, the API response, this annotation can be uh, added to the class uh, like uh, level. In the past, you have to go to the method. So which is, this means this response applicable for all this method. The following thing is the extension att extensions attribute added uh, to extensions. So basically, it's uh, you can specify here extensions and then add an extension name value. And then when you generate uh, this uh, description, you can see this is uh, uh, like a name and a value automatically being uh, like uh, owners. So that's a quick uh, run through about um, uh, micro profile uh, open API 3.1. So next thing is the uh, micro profile JWT 2.1. Uh, again, the JWT the uh, 2.1 is a uh, is the manner release is uh, uh, there's uh, kind of no backward compatible incompatible change. So the first thing is that you can uh, like uh, specify the um, GWT token age. So basically in the micro profile configure source, you can say mp dot verify the token age. So this is in second. So it's uh, you can I think it's kind of the is the runtime with the implementation we read it and validate the GWT token to see whether it's still valid or not. The the second one is uh, another property added to, to like uh, specify the clock screw. So basically, uh, again, this in second, uh, again, it's kind of the within this 60 second, the token won't be expired. So it's uh, this is catered for the different uh, computers. They use a different, uh, like uh, they might have a different uh, time, but uh, it's uh, kind of the, this catered for some cookie, uh, like uh, some uh, uh, token uh, expired is just because of the computer time different. The, for, uh, the, the third, uh, like uh, 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 configuration is uh, added uh, is about a key or algorithm. So basically it's uh, this kind of specify what's the allowed uh, algorithm. So you can say, okay, this is, uh, this is only this, is, this uh, um like uh, the algorithm is allowed to deprecate so they're the same um, people say um, observation all these kind of the survey and etc job wizard gradually kind of faded in the background and no longer like a uh, mainstream 
it seems like a micrometer is the kind of as a library picked up more kind of popularity and uh, also with the spring also adopt um, uh, like a micrometer. So the other thing, why don't we just uh, throw away micropopometrics, adopt uh, some third party libraries? The reason is um, like uh, there are some current uh, micro profile customers and etc. Uh, they prefer like uh, the simplicity or micro profile metrics. So that's why the micro profile metrics group uh, continue trying to um, incorporate uh, like uh, some other more popular technologies such as micrometer and also like um, still offer some APIs to the end users so that they do not need to learn. The, the another library. So basically they can still use, rely on the micro profile metrics and they use the, like uh, the APIs they understand or annotations. They don't need to have to plug in the extra libraries and understand all the, uh, how to use them. So this is the main uh, purpose why the micro profile metrics is still evolving. So it's, um, let me take you through and what's in micro profile metrics 5.0. And also I will do a demo as well. So in MicroProfile 5.0, uh, it uh, continues to provide a MicroProfile Metrics API. Again, if you know MicroProfile Metrics, it uh, uh, added uh, some uh, like uh, the annotations. Basically, it's, uh, you can directly use it or you can use it programmatically. So it's, uh, some, there's uh, some uh, APIs as well. And then with that, uh, your application is portable among the micro profile metrics uh, imp implementations. Uh, the second one is now it supports uh, multi-dimensional metrics. So this is the kind of the good feature um, uh, inspiration from uh, Macrometer as well. So you can see here, like um, how did uh, the customer scope was created, was supported? So you can see here, you can see, okay, the driver, and also you can see the scope. So this is the kind of the customer scope you can pro uh, provide your own scope and then later on you can query query that. The, fair, uh, the following one is um, uh, basically is, uh, this is uh, kind of in Adam Bean's session. He's very excited for this customer scope support. So from now, from Macro Profile Metrics 5.0, it offers customer scope. So basically, if you you are the developer, you added your own scope, and then you can do a particular URL, can directly see, uh, I mean the metrics you added. So this is uh, this is really neat. Um, finally, uh, I mentioned earlier, micro profile metrics is kind of abstract, provide you a abstract uh, abstraction uh, like uh, the a client facing uh, like a uh, interface. So basically the behind the scene, the implementation, you can choose whatever like you like. You could choose the micrometer as an implementation or you could choose uh, like uh, some other uh, implementation such as uh, open telemetry metrics and etc. So let's have a look at the micrometer. Micrometer is um, uh, developed in, uh, by Spring uh, like uh, it provides a simple facade. So basically a lot of monitoring system uh, like uh, can plug in and uh, pro uh, provide the instrumentation. So it's, a, it's, a most, uh, it's more like uh, SLF4G and then it's kind of the, uh, like uh, the uh, implement instrumentation that they can pro uh, plug in all the implementations and et cetera. And then you can stream out uh, these metrics. So, so that's the micrometer. So the other like uh, the um, uh, technology is called open telemetry. Open telemetry is under CNCF. It's a spec. It's a language agnostic. So there's the uh, like uh, different flavors. There's Java. There's some other languages. I just mainly talk about Java. In the in the open telemetry Java project, uh, like uh, it's kind of trying to implement the open telemetry specification. It offers uh, like a Java API, it offers the SDK, uh, and uh, it, it has some instrumentation as well. And also like a tracing, it has a Java agent support. So it's um, uh, the other thing I want to mention, open telemetry, they're trying to um, like uh, cover all the telemetry aspect. So uh, it's including metrics, logging, and tracing. So, it's, um, so basically it's the one pillar here 
um, like in the uh, in the context, of, that would be an open telemetry matrix. So you can use the open telemetry uh, a Java like a, a, like a, the implementation trying to do the uh, micro profile metrics 5.0. So in the micro profile 5.0, you continue to have the slash matrix endpoint. Um, and the data is written from uh, like a, a slash matrix call in the Prometheus 0 0 4 uh, like uh, the format. And then in implementation, you can also support open matrix format. So it's, um, uh, again, it's a slash matrix to give you all the metrics, all the register metrics. And then uh, like uh, previously, you have a slash matrix a slash base, give you the base matrix, or slash matrix slash vendor, give you the vendor matrix. Similarly, slash matrix slash application. So give you the, uh, the application, give you the uh, application matrix. Now the change is um, uh, in order to support customer scope, you know, it will be very difficult to use this slash matrix slash something else. So with that, basically the team like um, uh, dis uh, discussed among the, themselves and then eventually come up with this new format. It's slash matrix question mask scope equals. So scope equals the base, give you base matrix and vendor and uh, application, and also your customer scope. And uh, you will get your customer scope, all these metrics. And then you can even go uh, uh, to more details. You can even just uh, say, okay, what is the metric name? So you can do a, a question mask scope equals, and then name equals to get uh, that particular matrix um, match this query. In Open Liberty, uh, we implement a micro profile matrix under the feature MP matrix uh, dash 5.0. So it's uh, obviously we uh, kind of provide uh, uh, like Avenger matrix, give you a lot of GDM, all these um, uh, matrix data. And also we uh, obviously support micro profile matrix API. Um, and uh, also uh, uh, like it goes with us saying we add the, the customer scope uh, and etc. And in our implementation, we put it in micrometer. So it's uh, in, with that, it's easier. Like um, also, you can um, expand it to plug in your own like a monitoring system, like a, like a auto box. You have a Prometheus meter registry, and also you can plug in the elastic um, meter registry, a new relic or denotries, meter registry, and et cetera. It's a, a very kind of flexible. And uh, it works with um, many kind of monitoring system. And uh, so you, as you can see from the slides, this is uh, kind of uh, uh, more than 30. So in the next few slides, I want to uh, like uh, give you a quick overview about micro profile matrix 5.0 uh, because it's, um, it, it uh, is it has contained backward incompatible changes because is because is previous based on job wizard now is uh, uh, allow micrometer to be able to implement it so it's uh, some APIs that has changed as you can see the red red ones means this has been removed yellow marked yellow means modified and blue means new so from now on simply. Um, timed and uh, concurrent gauge or meter, this annotation has been removed, um, and their corresponding metric class has been removed. And a gauge and counter metric timer has been like uh, modified, uh, uh, like a uh, yeah. So in the next slide, like in this slide, as you can see, registry uh, type has been removed, but however, it added uh, registry uh, scope. And then also the um, uh, the metric registry, uh, basically metric registry has been updated, and also the uh, metadata has been updated as well. And um, the snapshot uh, is the updated uh, better suit suit a micrometer model and percentile value has been created, so it's uh, better to see the, all the percentile uh, like a data uh, data point. 
So with that, I'm going to do a quick demo uh, about um, micro-profile metrics. So it's uh, in my, uh, like uh, the VS code, uh, like uh, I have uh, the micro-profile metrics uh, 5.0 feature enabled. So at first I just, uh, uh, show you like uh, I have a car matrix. So basically in this one, uh, I want to also demonstrate to you here, here the how to you add the like uh, uh, like customer scope. So you can just uh, say register scope, this is your customer scope. So you can like inject the metric registry. So this is another thing I want to mention is that as you can see here, in the background, the micrometer is working. However, I don't need to use any micrometer APIs directly. I don't have to register a meter registry, create a global registry, uh, like a, uh, and uh, do my own like a registration and then set with a micrometer. So this is the implementation automatically, uh, implementation of micro profile metrics. I automatically do it for you. So you have created this uh, customer scope and created this uh, basically metric registry uh, being injected into it. And then you can uh, like uh, uh, create a gauge. You can see card or log the gauge and speed. And then you can even do the kind of the metadata builder. Here you can build the cost speed summary metadata. And then later on, you can add this uh, uh, history gram. So here again is uh, you can um, register timer. So you have uh, like uh, these metrics, uh, cut or locked, uh, speed, uh, cut or speak, um, speed, uh, like a summary, and also you have a timer. And uh, uh, in this application, it's very simple. It's uh, like a JAXS application. So you create uh, like uh, the metric, uh, uh, like uh, the car metrics to contain all these metrics. And in this, like uh, JAX as resources, uh, and uh, basically you can uh, uh, basically you can inject these uh, car metrics. So it's uh, here you can inject these uh, car metrics into your controller, uh, and then there's a few uh, like uh, uh, like operation rest uh, operation to to do the log, and log, and then start driving. So basically, it's a simulator here. Is simulator the the speed? So basically, a thing start start driving, and then end the driving. So it's a start a stop. So it's a, a major like a simulation. It's a start a speed um, uh, kind of thread here, and then basically randomly generate the speed as uh, the speed, and then this is called the matrix so speed update. So is that speed update directly calling here? So uh, basically, this is uh, your histogram. So it's basically uh, uh, have the tag and uh, also the value and update the speed. So it's, um, uh, I have this application like uh, running already. So it's, um, uh, so it's in here. So in this, uh, basically, it's, uh, this is application running. So it's, uh, I can see it's stop driving, it's already driving. Uh, so basically, if I directly go to the, um, like, uh, this, uh, the, the uh, Grafano dashboard, so basically here is the, the um, uh, uh, car speed uh, summary. So basically, you can see all the percentile. Is it fifty percent or seventy five percent? So give you all the status uh, the status here. So it's, this is the kind of the uh, also this uh, car log is the kind of pedostatic. Um and uh, also you can feed into your Prometheus uh, uh, like uh, the uh, dashboard, and then you can query any particular metrics. And as I mentioned earlier, so it's uh, uh, you uh, like uh, all the metrics is still um, under uh, uh, like uh, host like metrics. So it's uh, you can see here all of them are still under like uh, these uh, micro metrics, and these metrics uh, contain the base, uh, also the vendor and the application and the customer scope uh, among the application. As you can see here, like uh, this is um, uh, like uh, the particular metrics. 
I can see if I directly put in here, uh, you can see the REST request scope. So you can see all the metrics uh, with that automatically like uh, listed. So here you can see the micro profile metrics or some of them, uh, yeah, they are, they are the base. And uh, also in the URL here, um, if I want to see, um, basically I want to see like uh, the base. So you can see all the base metrics is pretty much is provided um, like, uh, 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 yeah, uh, provided is what's in, in the basically required by micro metrics each implementation must provide. So these are vendor metrics, basically vendor has some um, choice which one they want to uh, uh, provide. So this is a customer scope, so car scope. So you can see like um, this is uh, like if you specify the car scope, you just get your your this customer scope metrics. So now if someone like uh, specify my metrics, so Emily metrics, I can just say Emily scope, I can just say Emily scope. So I know like uh, this is a matrix I created. I can like uh, uh, like uh, filter it through uh, and etc. So this is a kind of quick um, like uh, run through um, about uh, like uh, micro profile metrics 5.0. By the way, if you have any questions, please um, feel free to post your question on the on the like a chat. So let me carry on with the next one, which is the micro profile telemetry 1.0. Again, I mentioned earlier, um, uh, like uh, micro profile open tracing was moved out and micro profile telemetry 1.0 was moved in. Why? Um, probably now, by now, you know, is that um, open tracing and open sensors merged together become uh, uh, open telemetry as under CNCF. Also, I briefly mentioned uh, like uh, um, open telemetry has three pillars, tracing, uh, metrics, and logging. Uh, why we like uh, the, uh, like a, uh, we look at a micro profile telemetry, uh, like a, uh, like a replace the tracing first. That's because the um, micro profile telemetry, uh, like a, a make the tracing, API is stable first. So it's, they focus more time to get a tracing out and then they work through like uh, metrics and also the logging. So um, with that, so it's, um, this is the what's in the micro profile telemetry 1.0. By the way, this um, telemetry 1.0 is all to, uh, has been released to Maven Central. So also it's, you can find out the spec and etc. It's a very small uh, specification. So the um, amazing thing is uh, it adopts open telemetry tracing. It does not, it's a spec, does not provide any uh, APIs is because Open telemetry is already a spec. We don't really want to wrap it up and give you a new APIs. So it's because uh, I think that's going to be a mainstream. Um, people will more familiar with open telemetry. So what we are trying to do with micro profile telemetry, we want to make the Jakarta EE um, application developer, micro profile application developer to easily adopt open telemetry. So uh, one thing is the open telemetry tracing is disabled by default. So you need to set up the property OTL the ISTK the disable equals false. Why? It's because it's a kind of, we want you conscious, you want us like a turn the tracing on. So this is so easy, you just uh, configure it. And then it's that uh, you are conscious. Yeah, I want to trace. It's uh, no longer a saying, no matter what you want or not, you have the tracing, you have to use the tracing. So this is kind of the, like uh, the, we want uh, you to understand. So you, you can like uh, enable it and uh, by default, uh, because you, unless you said so, uh, we're not going to push you to the face. And it has a, a three types of instrumentation automatically in, uh, instrumentation, manually uh, like uh, instrumentation and uh, agent support. 
So for the automatic instrumentation, is if you have like a RESTful web services and also microprofile REST client, oh, they are automatically traced. So it's uh, all these methods are automatically traced. So you have a JAXRS, like a, a get operation, put all operation, and et cetera, they're automatically traced. For the manual imp uh, instrumentation, for some other uh, additional method you want to trace, and you can like a uh, uh, trace adding uh, manually trace it. So you could either use some uh, like annotations like with a span, or you inject a trace uh, or span and etc. Or do programmatic lookup span or current uh, um, or something like that. Uh, the uh, the agent instrumentation you can use the uh, open telemetry Java agent to directly like uh, to uh, uh, gather telemetry data without any code code modification so basically when you start your application you just add the java agent uh, parameters you get all all of the trees so i want to emphasize micro telemetry adopt open telemetry apis however is simplified so basically it's the, the integration with the jakarta ee like a, a technologies is a provide a cdi integration so this is the main, uh, main uh, like a selling point. So this is a quick overview how it works. So you can see is basically if you use in the put in the OpenShift environment, you have the RESTful uh, web services, and then it's kind of the calling uh, like uh, each other. However, all these trees will go to open telemetry collector and also by optionally, they can go to the gateway open telemetry collector. And then, okay, you can like uh, uh, direct to Yaga or Zipkin or some other backend. So the uh, micro profile telemetry, so is as you can see, you can use the annotation like uh, with span, span attribute, and then you can inject open telemetry and trace uh, and span and baggage uh, and etc. And then for the exporter, you can uh, like uh, support your uh, like a uh, favorite uh, exporter in Liberty. We support Zipkin, Yaga, and others. Basically. Also, you can bring your your own like exporters to add it add it as a like a dependency in your poem and doesn't uh, like a, a plug into it. Uh, with that, let me do another demo for the um, uh, like uh, the tracing. So in my uh, this is uh, like uh, the. Uh, Tracing aspect. So I have two, uh, like uh, the uh, microservices. One is uh, uh, application, the other one is the inventory. Uh, yeah, one is the system, one is the inventory. Again, the uh, surprise, surprise, <laughs> they are still rest for uh, web services. Uh, and the inner system is very simple. You can see here the application and also system resource. As you can see, this is just uh, like very simple get operation. So it will uh, like uh, display the uh, system dot get properties. Uh, so that's an endpoint as you can see here, system and slash properties. Uh, so let me quickly go to the uh, here. So it basically is the uh, order save time is again is uh, automatically running. So here is the kind of, as you can see, this is uh, on my system dot properties. And also I have a Yaga, uh, like um, uh, Yaga client uh, running. So if I do a final trace, I only have one span because it's on his own. I did not call anything else. So it's, uh, as you can see here is a span. So this is uh, like a uh, one application and uh, it did not go anywhere. It's not very uh, like uh, exciting. So next one like uh, the, um, is a uh, uh, inventory. So it's um, a inventory again is uh, like uh, the uh, uh, JAX uh, application. So you have an application uh, and then you have some resources. You can see here the get operation like uh, uh, can I see systems and also host name and then it's the uh, get property for host is it has a path prime 
um, and then is we'll call the a uh, get. So this is the manager the get. So the the manager is the inventory manager to so inject into it. So this is the the, uh, the CDI bin application scoped inventory manager. It has uh, uh, like a few um. It has a few methods. Uh, one thing I want to mention here is the kind of basically uh, is not just as resources. So what I want to do is I just inject a tracer. So here's the tracer. Tracer is uh, like uh, the, uh, as you can see here, like uh, open telemetry API tracer. So it's a uh, inject a tracer and then it's a get operation. Basically, you can see uh, like uh, the, basically when you when you do a when you do a kind of uh, inject the tracer, you can see trick tracer the span builder. So basically, create a span, uh, and then is basically the get a property span, and then you can add an event, and then you end it. And then the other operation, this is get operation. Uh, this is the get method. The other one is add uh, uh, like uh, the property. Uh, as you can see here, the tracer. And build another span, add property, uh, and then it's kind of the, the set property. Um, and uh, later on, you can see this add event, uh, and then it's kind of the it's an end. So, uh, so this is the inventory manager. So, it's uh, basically in here is inject the uh, inventory manager into the JAXS resources. So, it's, you get a manager. And first, you do the manager dot get. So this is that get method. That get method obviously we uh, we call that uh, kind of the creature one span, yeah. Uh, and then it's kind of the uh, and then we will call the add. Add will again will create another span. So it's the so this is the this is the how the like a uh, inventory works, and uh, then is the kind of the um, uh, let's. Let's uh, go to the, the poke that URL. So basically, so for that, let me see. For that, uh, so basically, this is the kind of the inventory systems and uh, local host. So basically, I call this local host. Uh, it's uh, if you re, um, uh, if you uh, can recollect it, it will go to the do the get and then later on we'll do an add. So now if you go back to the uh, to here, like uh, the inventory, so the service name inventory. So you can see the basically you got five spans. So this is the first uh, the inventory. This is the kind of the the endpoint, and then uh call the inventory get uh, properties. First is the get properties. Now get properly actually is um, uh, call into the system like a uh, reading the property, and then you do a add property. So it's uh, do the add property. So it's uh, as you can see the all the spans the core, uh basically connected together and form the or one trace. The one thing I have not showed showed you, which is you think uh, how was the magic be made? So it's uh, like uh, as you can see here in the system, like uh, um, mentioned here in this, um, uh, like uh, I used nothing. I didn't. Uh, I did not use any like uh, open telemetry APIs. So this is kind of the um, automatic um, kind of the. Uh, Basically, the automatic in, in, instrumentation. How did I enable it? So very simple. So all I need to do, I will say, okay, uh, I want a trace. I just say OTL stk disable equals false. Also, I specify by the way my exporter is Yega. So that's why I plug in Yega. And this is my OTL service name system. So this is uh, like um uh, how it works. It is automatic. And uh, the other one is kind of the inventory, which I showed you earlier, is uh, menu. Again, no surprise here. You have to say, okay, I want a trace. And uh, again, my exporter is uh, Yaga, and my service name is inventory. Uh, and then, is, uh, as you can see here, uh, I just demonstrated, um, uh, I just uh, 
uh, did the injection for the tracer. So uh, in this example, you can see here like uh, the uh, menu and then go into the like uh, the um, uh, automatic and back to um, menu. As you can see here, the system client is uh, basically because it's, it does call the get properties. So this is the system client get the properties and that's go to the, um, uh, go to here. You go to here. So that's uh, like a uh, way uh, in this um, like uh, tracing, you can see the system properties that actually went out uh, to another service according to the uh, system client, uh, according to that and the URL and later on come back again. So that's a quick demo of the micro profile uh, tracing, uh, micro profile uh, telemetry. Uh, with that, let's quick let's go back to like um, peek into the future. Uh, so if you want to try out uh, the micro profile six to like uh, do the fast movement, and also we want to do more innovation, we want to add more spec and new specs, and also innovate the existing existing specs, and also we want to grow uh, awareness and the options for micro profile. We want to um, strengthen the uh, brand. As you can see, we ha have new members, and also we want to expand the micro profile in different uh, geo, and uh, hopefully get more like uh, the members and uh, push the micro profile uh, further and uh, get more adoption. And also, we want to establish a champion program, and uh, uh, plus we uh, have been pushing hard to grow the compatible implementations. Um, and then with our thing, we want to uh, welcome new members. We also want to adopt, uh, uh, want to get, uh, uh, I mean, other uh, companies uh, to join MicroProfile Working Group. And um, uh, again, is we want to grow our community, uh, community uh, group and also the um, uh, contributors as well. Uh, we want to work uh, closely with Jakarta EE. So uh, basically we want to, uh, Continue to demonstrate the Kata E and Micro Profile work beautifully together, nicely, provide really, really powerful cloud and native technology roadmap for all the people who want to do the cloud and native applications. So it's um this is the aim. As you can see in Micro Profile 6, we already like uh, embrace micro uh Jakarta E 10 core profile. Uh, the technical goal for 2023, we want to uh, evaluate uh, like uh, cloud storage, converters, distributed uh, cache, and uh, also serverless programming model. So we want to see whether we can um, create a serverless programming model so that in any other cloud, you can directly deploy your micro profile applications. They work, uh, they work is without any glitch. And we want to evaluate, uh, evolve telemetry to embrace uh, metrics and open telemetry logging as well. Um, and uh, that also, I want to try to emphasize micro profile and Jakarta E. We want to align uh, on the ongoing purpose. And also, we want to have a look at the gap between the spring technology and micro profile to see whether uh, there are any gap we want to cover. Um, uh, finally, we want to like um, improve alignment uh, with the cloud infrastructure, and also we want to follow closely with the Java like uh, the technologies and etc. We want to evaluate like a record on the virtual thread and etc. And uh, as you can see, we want to explore virtual thread usage in yeah, micro profile APIs, and also we want because cloud technology moving really fast. We want to like uh, stay closely uh, with the cloud infrastructure to see whether we can do better to create a really cohesive cloud um, native uh, like uh, this ecosystem. So uh, finally, uh, if you are interested in micro profile, please uh, log on to uh, like use this URL, log out to uh, Amazon to. Uh, like uh, to have a look at this book and uh, this book I co-authored with a few of my colleagues. So uh, with that, uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Are there any questions?
No more questions yet, Emily. Okay, that's great. Okay, catch up with me like uh, via Twitter or Mastodon. Uh, and if you have uh, questions, just uh, yeah, feel free to get in touch. Uh, with that, thank you so much again. Thanks so much, Emily. That was great. Thank you.